the move for the Thanksgiving holiday, nearly as many as before the pandemic. More than 48 million people expected to drive. A look here at the New Jersey Turnpike this afternoon. More than 4 million expected to take to the skies as well. Long lines at the Miami airport. But this week, travelers are also confronting the highest gas prices in years and COVID rules at the airports. ABC's transportation correspondent Gio Benitez with the holiday rush. Tonight, more than 48 million Americans hitting the road for Thanksgiving, part of the biggest holiday travel rush since the pandemic began. We started at 9.30. <laughs> yeah. PM? PM. <laughs> Every time we go uh, to see Grandma in Delaware, we're usually on the road before 4 or 5 a.m. Drivers making the trip to see relatives paying the highest gas prices in seven years. The average for a gallon of regular soaring to $3.40 a gallon more than a dollar higher than just a year ago when demand was lower because of the pandemic. Prices in the Northeast jumping 60% and approaching $5 a gallon in California. Millions more packing airports for the holiday. It's nice to be able to kind of freely go wherever you want. We're going over there to visit my sister and from there go to Disney World. We're super excited. The TSA screening more than 2 million travelers a day. Look at, look at all these people. Enchanted, man. You know, got all these people enchanted for the sake of vanity to travel. There to visit my sister and from there go to Disney World. We're super excited. The TSA screening more than two million travelers a day for the past week. Kind of freaking out a little bit about worrying about getting to my plane on time. The TSA says it expects Sunday to be the busiest travel day of the year as people head home, with an estimated 2.4 million passengers catching flights. Parking lots filling up at some major airports, with customers told to reserve spots ahead of time. As for the weather, travelers can expect clear skies and no major storms impacting their plans. And what if you're driving for the holiday? The best times to get on the road are tonight after 9 p.m. or tomorrow morning before 11. What? Gio, we appreciate the tips. Thank you. Channel 1. Channel 1. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach you on rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwa, the listening and listening and learning, Shalom. To your brother Shema. From the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And uh, we'll get right into it. Vanity of vanities, right? These these two thirds, these heathen nations, all enchanted men, masking up and drinking the serpent piss for vanity, man. Ecclesiastes 1, verse 2. Vanity of vanities. As a matter of fact, verse 1. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. King Solomon wrote this book, the book of Ecclesiastes. These are his words. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. Right, and what does vanity mean? Empty, man. Empty. Right, the heart of the fool is in the house is is in the is in the the house of mirth. Grab that scripture too, man. Ecclesiastes seven verse four. The heart of the wise, who's the wise? The elect. Heart being mind, the mind of the wise is in the house of mourning. Right. And why 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 is the elect? The election. Why is your mind state in the house of mourning, man? Because it's nothing but vexation of spirit out here, man. Right? Doesn't it say, Second Peter, vex with the filthy conversation of the world, deliver just slot. Let's get it. I don't want to butcher it. But yeah, this this is the mind state of two thirds of our people out here, man. You know what I mean? And it's a vexation of spirit.
สลักสลักAnd this is the money state of the lek, you know. The hope for Lord willing, Lord willing, we're of that number. The hope for the lek, but this is the mindset, the mind state of the lek, man. Vex, 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 vexation of spirit, man. Second Peter two verse seven. Second Peter two verse six. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, right? And the Mosai Yah Bashim Yashai destroyed the ancient cities of Sodom and Gomorrah with fire and brimstone, right? Making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, right? And the reason why he destroyed those cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, was the wickedness that was carrying on in, 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 in Sodom and Gomorrah at the time, man. And America the Great is spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt. It's a vibration of wickedness, abominations. Alphabet boys, right? Verse 7, here's the point. And delivered just lot, right? Just meaning upright, righteous, right? Vex, vex. With the filthy conversation, conversation meaning lifestyle, filthy lifestyle, way of life of the wicked, right? And that's why the elect is in a mind state of mourning man while the fools are in the in, in a mindset of mirth right back to ecclesiastes 7 verse 4 once again the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning right the mind of the wise the elect but the heart of fools right mind hebrew word for heart is lob but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth right and this is what we see with this article right here man it's just a, a, a vibration of mirth man you know, let me drink this syrup and piss and mask up and line up in airports for vanity. And these these very same people are going to be the same that take the MOTB, man. Right? Right? And uh, no idea that, that evils are brewing. Second Edward 16, verse 21, it reads, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth, victuals is food, right? That they shall think themselves to be in a good case, right? And things are just things are starting to inflate now. Hyperinflation. You know? So things are no longer in a good victuals are no longer cheap, right? But people, people are being the bread and circus has people thinking. Has these two thirds of our people thinking? Has these heathen nations thinking? You know things are gonna go back to normal, man. You know, let me just mask up and drink this this serpent piss. You know what I mean? For vanity, right? But they shall think themselves to be in good case, right? They think themselves to be in good case right now, man. The whole vibration of that news article was mirth. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, right? So while you think things is things is things is getting blessed, you know, as long as I drink this syrup and piss and mask up and do my do my part, right? Right? They think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. So like upon earth, what kind of evils? Sword, famine. And great confusion, right? And these and the, these are the times that we're in right now, man. Right? These fools out here are not walking up circumspectly. These fools out here are slated for destruction, man. These fools are out here are gonna die by either famine, sword, great destruction, plague, 
Let's close out. This scripture has been coming out a lot lately, man. Ephesians 5, verse 15. See then that you walk, see then that ye walk circumspectly, right? Head on swivel, observing all things. With your spiritual lenses, with your spiritual eye. Not as fools, but as wise. Right? And it's only the elect out here that are wise. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil, right? And we're in those times, man. Evil times, man. But we know it's the Lord's will. Verse 17. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding that the will of the Lord is, right? Ultimately, we know this is the will of the Most High Yah, but she may shot. The good and the bad. As a matter of fact, let's close out. The Most High is in charge of all things. Isaiah 45, verse 7. And it reads, I form the light and create darkness, right? The Most High, Yahweh, Shem, Shai. I make peace and create evil, right? The Most High, Yahweh, Shem, Shai. I, the Lord, all caps, Yahweh, do all these things, right? The Most High is in control of all these things. The good and the bad. The light and the darkness. The peace and the evil. Stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Kwame Ashwala. Wa abad. Babal.